Hi, this is Veronica Wasik with the 5MinuteBookkeeping.com blog. Okay, so in this video we're going to go over editing, voiding, and deleting transactions in QuickBooks Online. So QBO is really simple to use and one of the greatest things that I like about QBO is that it's easy to change transactions and to correct mistakes that we have made. Now having said that, that is one of the strengths of QBO. It can also be uh, something that you, if you don't know what you're doing, you might make some mistakes. So before we edit, void, or delete any transactions, be sure that you do not change any transactions that have already been reconciled with your bank account. And also, you don't want to change anything that your accountant or bookkeeper has already worked on. And we don't want to change any past um, transactions for peers that uh, your accountant has already filed a tax return for. So be very careful with that. So we'll assume that these are transactions that are not reconciled, your accountant hasn't worked on them, and a tax return has not been filed on uh, the period in which these transactions are recorded. So let's get started. First of all, let's go over editing a transaction. Editing a transaction in QBO, as I said, is quite simple. So let's just open one. I'm just going to go to Transactions, and I'm going to select an expense, and I'll open up this credit card expense. Well, let's see. Let's open up this one. And let's say that I entered this manually, and perhaps um, that I entered the wrong date. So it's very simple. I can just come here and change the date. Maybe even I didn't pay it with my MasterCard. I paid it out of the Visa, so I can change that as well. And if this is um, not automobile expense, and let's say actually it was auto, but it was fuel. So I want to put it to fuel. And at this point, I can change even the amount if I wanted to. I won't in this case. At this point, just save and close. Let's continue to work with the same transaction. And let's assume actually that I enter this and actually I was totally wrong, should not have entered this transaction. Maybe I already entered it and I realized that I have a duplicate. So I'm going to void this transaction. So I'll go ahead and double click to open it. And see here where it says more? I'll click on that. And I have two choices here actually. I can void or I can delete. I prefer to void and the reason is that I will still have a trail, if you will, of what I've done with this transaction. So when I click void, first it'll ask me, am I sure? I'll say yes. And it tells me that it was successfully voided. And now I can still see that transaction. It's right here, but it shows me zero. So that's what a voided transaction looks like. Let's open it up again. So it tells me it was void and the amount is zero but I can still see that I had attempted to enter this transaction. It gives you somewhat of, a, of an audit trail here that I had entered this transaction initially and now I have voided it. Let's cover an example of deleting a transaction in QBO. We'll select this transaction, click more at the bottom, and here I can click delete. Now before we delete a transaction, just so you know, delete completely removes that transaction from QBO. Now QBO does have an audit trail in which you can see the transactions that were deleted, but there is really not any sort of visual trail as I showed you in void when we delete. So we'll go ahead and delete and we'll say yes. And now as you can see, that transaction is no longer showing here on our list. However, I'll just show you the um, audit trail or audit log as QBO calls it. So here's the audit log and you can see this is the transaction that was voided and then this is the transaction that I just deleted. So what if I want to edit a, an invoice for a customer? We'll go ahead and go to sales and select an invoice. Um, I typically want to change an invoice that has not been paid by that customer. I'll open up that invoice and again I can change any of these fields. I can change the date, the terms, and here let's say for example that I had I chose the wrong product. Let's say instead of rock fountain it was really rocks and I need to say that this was 100 rocks, $10 a piece. 
So as you can see now, I have changed the amount of the invoice, and this is why I said it's best to change an invoice that you haven't uh, collected on because it will change the amount of these, this invoice. And at this point, I can save and send that invoice to my customer. So that's how easily you can edit an invoice that you've already done. If I wanted to uh, void or delete the invoice, same thing. I just would click here at the bottom, click more, and I have the same choice to either void or delete. Same way as I showed you before with expenses. In this case, I won't do that. I'll just go ahead and save and close. You have just learned how to edit, void, and delete transactions in QuickBooks Online. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, visit 5minutebookkeeping.com for the latest QuickBooks Online tutorials, and share this video with others.